Okay, this morning, uh, apa yang Malay or English? Okay, guys. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much, uh, members of the press, for coming uh, to help us and uh, document what we did today. What happened today is that after the flooding, we knew that uh, from our PO that we need to clean up the tamu ground so that uh, people can come back and sell their produce again uh, next this coming week. Um, and very lucky to have the backup of the MDPG and the staff uh, clean up the tamu ground and a lot of volunteers. And today we also set up or launched the Moyo Groom Army. So uh, we'll have a group of volunteers who will be coming together to clean up uh, public places. Um, we also have the chief of police who said that they have about 200 anggota uh, squad jabat tangan yeah, uh, to pack us up. So the first thing we need to do is go to the schools, badly affected schools that I know are Keki Babai and St. Michael School, so we'll do that with the help of the uh, authorities. Okay. Yes, uh, what and also Mr. Ping is here. Uh, we are doing the, um, the you know, there was a briefing yesterday and uh, the flood mitigation, of course, uh, will take some time. Uh, four phases of it um, and the first two has already been launched. For example, the um, definitely uh, more long term. Uh, it will take two years to complete uh, the phase one and then also the another one which is the uh, water that affects uh, Lido quite badly. Um, that's also uh, already in the pipeline. The funding has already been approved by the federal, but it needs to be, um, for example, the, the one for Lido needs a, a water the contract. And so we hope at least those two um, will be uh, uh, on the uh, on the way to be uh, implemented, uh, one of the um, one of the challenges uh, that they said was uh, a problem is the um, the landowners uh, because they have to widen the 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 parit, no? uh, so they have to um, acquire the land. So we've also requested uh, the district officer that we meet the landowners so that they will. Um, uh, get a better understanding of uh, that this is important for the, the land acquisition to enable the this flood mitigation to happen. So those two, um, and I think uh, in terms of the short term, we've already been talking about uh, various ways in terms of um, uh, reducing the hill cutting, uh, clearing, for example. Also, uh, in terms of uh, early warning system for uh, communities uh, from upriver down. At the moment, uh, it's very informal, so if we can have a more formal way of uh, informing people as, as uh, the, the amount of water, the rainfall uh, is affecting upriver and how it will uh, move down. So communities can be better prepared. Uh, yesterday uh, was very sudden, uh, I think uh, we must say that uh, despite they said there was warning, there was very few who knew that four times the rainfall is going to hit uh, Penampang and uh, the surrounding areas, but uh, I think people were saying they did not know. Uh, many of us uh, were taken by surprise and, and this uh, contributed to the uh, bigger loss for communities and we are very concerned about that. Uh, this morning also uh, I looked at uh, the one um, one uh, jambatan gantung, uh, uh, hanging bridge, uh, tanaki to kambau that was uh, uh, sudah terputus lah. So those things uh, immediate needs uh, that needs to be looked at. Besides all the as uh, uh, Jennifer was saying, uh, looking at the needs of the communities uh, in the surrounding areas in terms of food supplies and uh, help in terms of cleaning up. Thank you. I just want to add, um, actually we want to thank many, many people came forward, uh, many organizations, uh, the 4x4 club, the radio, amateur radio, our friends, Rotary Club came in immediately for uh, instant relief like water supply. I also thank uh, our APM for rescuing on one particular case, um, a girl was stuck in her home alone, yeah, so they went all out to rescue the girl and she's still at the evacuation center. 
uh, relief center also and I want to thank all of you uh, donations are pouring in um, I think we must have a better coordinated uh, team in order to uh, you know to ensure that we reach out to everybody we must have a proper number we must have our team properly set up for a disaster such as this um, I've appealed to the United Nations Malaysia to come in and uh, not just in terms of monetary and uh, goods, but actually we need technical expertise to set up a proper team, particularly in Penampang, and to ensure that uh, in as any disaster, any emergencies, people, we all are more, we are better prepared to face this. So I thank all of you in Penampang, Moyo Payan, for being very patient with us. Uh, there is no complaints, nothing. We apologize if we have not reached out to you yet. Uh, we are trying our best. Roads, uh, some roads are still not passable at this point. Uh, the 4 wheel 4x4 four, four four club uh, is trying their best. I went round with them last night just to look at the problems that everybody is facing out there. Might not be able to reach all of you, but do keep in touch. Make sure you're safe. If there is an evacuation, uh, instruction from the authorities, please leave your homes, uh, bring your important documents, put them in a safe uh, waterproof bag, bring your important medication with you, especially um, take good care of our elders, pregnant women, our children and our people with special needs of KU. Make sure that that first one to be evacuated. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, uh, it looks like it's improving. The water level has gone down uh, in terms of the danger level. Um, this morning, as of this morning, um, we were a bit scared uh, early today, four o'clock in the morning, when you know we still have a heavy downpour. Uh, we're expecting a rain. They said uh, heavy rain still, uh, so still on standby. But uh, most roads. Uh, uh, I think more uh, possible now um, for Kapayan area. The water has subsided, except in uh, areas like uh, Kampung Aiganang. Uh, of course, uh, they it's uh, staying, especially those with the where the Koparitan is down. Lido is clear uh, quite fast, uh, but of course uh, it's still causing um, worries for communities as more rain is expected to fall. Thank you very much.